In today's video, we are going to see how to get more flowers on Aprazita or blue pea plant. It has many other names and you can see them on the screen. In case your Aprazita plants are not blooming, then this video is for you. Aprazita is a summer flowering plant and it continues to bloom till around October end. In this spot, I am growing both blue and white varieties. That is why we can see blue and white flowers. Alright, let's see what we need to know. Point number one, a good potting soil mix. Aprazita needs well-drained and rich potting soil mix. A basic potting soil mix works well and I do it like 50% normal garden soil, 25% vermicompost and 25% coco peat. Please note, we should not add too much vermicompost. Too much nitrogen is not good for them. It is because they are nitrogen fixing plants. Nitrogen fixing plants are the plants that produce nitrogen compounds that help them to grow. When these plants die, the fixed nitrogen is released into the soil making it available to other plants. This helps to fertilize the soil. That is why we should not add too much compost in potting soil mix or we should not feed them too frequently with fertilizers that contain higher percentage of nitrogen, for example mustard cake powder. Generally saying all legumes are nitrogen fixing plants. Legumes means any plant that has seeds in long pods. For example this is also a nitrogen fixing plant and it is a peacock flower. Point number two, selecting the size of the pot. For one plant, you can use pot like six to eight inches deeper and six to eight inches wider. This is sufficient. But if you like, of course, you can use bigger pot. Here you can see me transplanting four seedlings together in a 10 inch pot. Well, I grew four plants together because I wanted to make a braid. Later, I shifted them to a bigger pot and braid was also looking beautiful. I have already uploaded this video and in case you want to see all the procedures with updates then please click on the i button on top right corner and I would also put the link in description box. Point number 3 How to fertilize I already said before please avoid applying fertilizers that contain higher percentage of nitrogen. I apply only 2 to 3 handful of vermicompost once in 15 to 20 days. Just do a bit tilling and then apply the compost. After that, water well. Believe me, you don't need anything else to apply, like growth promoter or SSP, etc. Point number four, minimum four to five hours of direct sunlight is more than enough. For example, they were growing and blooming well in my balcony as well and my balcony gets only afternoon sunlight from around 1 p.m. But I am keeping this spot on terrace and it is getting whole day of sunlight. Point number 5. The soil should be moist all the time and since I am keeping this spot on terrace, I need to water daily. I have watered yesterday but as you can see, the topsoil is already looking bit dry. Showing you this footage so that you can guess how frequently we need to water them. Please remember. More sunlight exposure means we need to water more frequently. Point number 6. The leaves may turn yellow in case of underwatering and overwatering. These leaves are turning yellow as it's almost end of the season. Because of the same reason, many leaves are also falling off. Point number seven. Even after taking good care, if your plant is not blooming, then you can try using potassium humate once in 25 to 30 days. The dose is two grams in one liter water. Right now, it's time to prepare our bougainvilleas for more flowers. Recently, I have uploaded one very important video and in case you love bougainvilleas, I would highly recommend you to watch that video. For that, simply check out the next video.
Hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy.